Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to take you over to um, our latest site. We're installing a tester panel, all three on that site, with I think it's 24 panels we're putting on. There was meant to be 26, but actually one of the roofs is a little bit tighter than we'd anticipated. This is all at the customer's request, and they want to maximise every square inch of their roof. Let's go ahead over to the site. I'll talk you through what we've got on site when we get there. We need to pick the meat up today because we've got our NIC inspection. Let's get a coffee. Let's head to site. Here we are on site at our latest project. There's 23 panels going on this roof. The majority are going on the south facing roof. Some of them are going on the west facing roof at the side. It's all having solar skirt fitted as well. And a Tesla power wall three with full home backup. What's nice about this location is it's semi-rural. There's one, two, three, four houses on the cul-de-sac. We've already done a house over there. We're now into this property and the DNO have actually given full 11 kilowatts uh, permission on both properties so they can take advantage of the power wall to its maximum. Let's go and take a look at what Matt's up to and maybe I'll show you around the system as well. So I'm not even going to try and take credit for anything on site. Matt's been here working really hard for the past couple of days. Um, gateways on. Earth rod's been done now, and the battery's over in the garage. So again, we've used the Doncaster EV and PV Ultra and the Tesla cable as well to get supplies everywhere. Whilst Matt's putting an earth rod in, I'll take you into the garage and show you what's been going on. Let's go. This is the garage space we've got. And over in this corner here, we have the Tesla Powerwall 3. So AC supply comes in, DC supplies, DC isolators on every string, We've also incorporated a My Energy Zappy. The customer wanted it in the garage. So we've run that through and brought a Zappy to the corner. One of the things I really love about the Powerwall 3s is the fact that it is this monolithic design. So the inverter and the battery are all contained in one housing. We can see there that that's ready to commission. We're not quite finished on the roof with all the strings, but what I will do is get this powered up to the customer and then we can start the handover process, get them on the app, and go from there. Overall, Matt's done actually a really fantastically neat job. And that was something that neighbors commented on about their installation as well. So hopefully this customer is just as happy. I'm gonna try and get this commissioned. In the meantime, Matt's outside. You can just about hear him putting an earth rod in. It's half three, so it's getting later on in the day. But fingers crossed we should get this sort of commissioned. The lads will be back tomorrow to panel the rest of the roof. We can go from there, see you shortly. Commissioning a Tesla power wall. So the power wall to commission, usually is, is really straightforward. All we've got to do is begin installation and scan the QR code, connect it to Wi-Fi, and then do a few little tests. So we won't take it off grid just yet because that parallel earth rod isn't in. We can only test up to now the one string. But well, here we are, everything else has been set. So on this site, we have 11 kilowatt on-site capacity and nine kilowatt export limitation, which to be fair is pretty good, especially for the sort of rural location. 20 minutes on the update. I'm gonna leave this. See if Matt needs a bit of a hand, have a bit of a clear up, and then I'm gonna come back to it. So it's half past six, we've finished for the day. I've handed the Tesla over to the customer, showing him how it works, where to switch it off. I've not yet set him up on the app because he wants to do that tomorrow with his wife. I've shown him the Zappy, how that functions, and we've discussed about the My Energy Harvey and how that could fit into his, his installation. Some of the panels are working and generated. Obviously, you can see that not all the panels are done yet. So the roofers will be back tomorrow to finish that off. But up to now, Matt's done a fantastic job. All the gateways done, the earth rods done. We've tested it off grid. We've done, done the work, so pretty much the bulk of the work's been done. So yeah, half past six, I'm gonna get home and I'll see you uh, tomorrow when we hand over. Welcome back to site. So this is our final day. The lads have done a cracking job at getting all the panels and the solar skirt on the roof. Last thing for me to do is just finish commissioning. So I've done most of that now. Get the stickers on, get some more labels on and have a good tidy up. Let me show you the system and what we're on with. So this is our system pretty much complete. A few little stickers to put on. So we've got a document holder, 
which we're going to put all of our schematics on. All of our shutdown procedures um, and that sort of stuff. So, shutdown procedure on how to restart the Tesla power wall. We've got a site plan which shows the stringing methods. So we've got three strings on here. That shows the plan on where they go. Um, cleaning maintenance. So we have to leave a cleaning maintenance for MCS. Schedule that shows when the panel should be cleaned, what sort of maintenance should be happening periodically. And finally, an SLD. So a single line diagram just showing actually how all the systems wired. And then we've got a few little things in here for for me to fill in as we go. But on this job, the customers asked me to do a little bit more extra labeling than normal. So I'm gonna label all of these Doncaster cables so we can see what goes where. Or more so, so the customer can actually understand what those cables do if they ever need to, to figure that out in the future. I'm gonna label up these isolators so it shows which string does what. So as you can see, the array is all done. We've got 18 panels on the south facing roof and a further five panels on the east facing roofs. The array is finished off with a solar skirt just to keep the pigeons out, the birds out, and it looks pretty decent. This is quite a big system. So the customer opted for such a big system, mainly to future-proof the property so the installation is in done once, never to be touched again. He did want a couple of panels on that roof, but they were never gonna fit. All done, I'm gonna hand it over to the customer now, get him set up on the app. And yeah, let's go from there. That is us, all ready to hand over. This dude is up and working. ACS is on, ACS is on. Time to get the customer up. So that is us all done. Um, hand over to the customer, has gone really well. We've set them up on the app, shown them exactly what we've done, what we've installed, um, how to use the system. Clean down the area. It's half six. What an absolutely good job all done. Christmas happy with the lads, so that's us. Until next time.